Hello sa ating mga ka-OFW, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Magdi-discuss po tayo ngayon ng makakatulong po sa ating mga guro, lalo po ngayon sa panahon ng pandemic, since ngayon po ay holiday ngayon sa Hungary, wala akong pasok, wala akong magawa, but I need to share my ideas about the 10 great educational websites for teachers. This is only uh, based on research and uh, that I get from the website. So, part one po siya. Umpisaan po natin. Ito po ay ginawa ko ngayong araw para po sa ating mga guro dahil online na po ang way of teaching napakalaking tulong po ito sa ating mga guro dahil when I finished my college ako po ay nagturo din sa isang school hello pala sa mga ating mga guro sa kolehiyo de Santa Monica de Angat ako po ay nagturo doon ng ibang taon din so ito po ay makatulong po sa kanila lalong lalo na po sa ating mga guro dahil po sa panahon po ngayon ng crisis or sa pandemic ito po ay makakatulong po we first go with the 10 great educational website for teachers. I gather mostly at 10. So this is the first one. So number one. I have here the Khan Academy. Khan Academy provides free educational content in the form of instructional videos and practice exercises concerning different subjects including math, chemistry, physics, science, art, humanities, and many more. Punta po tayo sa mismong website. We go to the website, guys. So this is the website of the Khan Academy. Makikita natin dito uh, kababayan sa ating mga guro na may iba-ibang klase ng subjects. So math, science and engineering, computing, Arts and Humanities, Economics and Finance, and Test Preparation, and My Course Isn't Listed. So ito po ay makakatulong po, lalo lalo po sa ating mga guro. Now, paano natin is a search or ita try? So let us try to click this one, the early math. So makikita po natin ito, magkakaroon po siya ng check. May check po siya. Click po natin ang continue. Ito po. Para po malaman po natin na kung ano po yung laman ng mathematics. So basic mathematics. Now halimbawa po, nagtanong po kayo paano ako makakalagin dito sa Khan Academy. Pag maglalagin po tayo sa Khan Academy, pag makikita nyo po nandito po yung aking pangalan. I use my name, full name. I use... You can use Google account or the Facebook account. You can log in using your account. So I use my account. So let us now start it. So the classes. You can select this one. So if you have a class, choose your class. It's still loading. Habang inintay po natin mag-load, ito po siya. Student roster. So, the class name. You skip this one. I will not use that one. So, you have this one. So, you have the tools course mastery, placement, assignment, and the setting. So, we will go to the teacher's dashboard. So, this is just a uh, introduction about the courses that you're going to use now go to these courses you can select early math prep school application physics arithmetic algebra pre-algebra geometry algebra 2 triangle pre-calculus statistic and probability AP Calculus AP, AP Calculus BC, AP Statistic, 
multivariable calculus, differential equation, and linear algebra. So there are different subjects that you can choose on. So we'll try to click this one, early math. Early math. Still loading. Ito po ay isang tutorial para po sa ating mga guru. So this is the early math they have here if you want to start. Before we start, we have here counting 0 to 120 counting objects. So this is the first course or the subject that you're going to go. Get started. You want to click the, the subjects. So counting. So this is the subject. Learn counting with small numbers, counting in orders. At the left side, you can see 1,300 possible mastery points. Skill summary. Then you have here counting, counting 0, 1 to 20. You have also the quiz. So 1 to 7, practice what you have learned and level up on the above skills. Counting objects, comparing small numbers, quiz number 2. There are different stuff here. Now we will try to click this one, counting with small numbers. So you have here a video. You have here a video. Then if you want to check the video, just next video. You can learn from it. I did not put the sounds because later it will have complication with my youtube channel so you can see here they have a lot of how do we count the flowers so this is the basic counting technique so one two three four five six seven and eight so another one say you say it's four this is five so this is five the next one so this is some idea on how you will teach your students now we will close this one close that one we will go to another one this is a video ito po ay napakalaking tulog po sa ating mga guro using online application ang alam ko po ang government natin ay hirap po ngayon sa pandemic so ito po ay makakatulong lalong lalo po sa ating mga guro so another uh, kind of counting is this one so they have example how do we count the mice so I have here one, two, three, five, seven. Oh, this is not correct. So the way they count is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is just an example. This is a basic counting, especially for the small children. So back po natin, back. Go back. Back po tayo, balik tayo sa pinaka main. Abang nag-load po siya. Ito po. Ayan. We will go to the main courses. Just click again this one. Then go to arithmetic. This is just an example. We will go to another subject. Since we are done with the mathematics. I think we have a lot of examples and uh, lessons. We will go to science and engineering. We will go from this one. Physics. Ito po ay makakatulong din sa mga high school students, senior high school students. So, I have here a lot of information and videos. So, we'll try to click this one. So, Newton's first law of motion. Shout out to all the physics teachers. Ito po ay malaking tulong din. But this is just basic. Basic. But if you want to go to the higher physics, I think they have also here. So look at this one, human being and objects moving. So I, you have here the Newton's first law of motion introduction. Science teacher said that there's a lot of weight of pushing us that because this is a conversation between the students and the teachers. 
so this is a big help especially for those who are online now makakatulong po ito now you see some examples and computation the object is moving then after moving it stopped so this is the first law of motion so balik na click natin another one which is the second law of motion so more on Newton's second law so shout out sa aking previous na guro sa physics especially in the engineering one ang laking tulong po ito sa panahon po ng pandemic ganito na po ang style ng teaching now we are done with the Khan Academy so we'll go to the second one which is the second uh, website that you want to get some information so read writing offer a wide variety of classroom and professional development resources this includes student interactives lesson plan printouts mobile application strategy guide etc now we will now go to this the second one so we'll go to the website so this is the the website if you can see you can select classroom resources professional development and videos and with the parent and after school resources so this is the website we try to click first this one so classroom resources so I have here some examples, the lesson plan. Lesson plan, this is a big help, especially for those who teach. Gumawa rin po ng lesson plan, nung ako yung nagtuturo sa Kolehyo de Santa Monica de Angat. Nung una pong pagtuturo, since I'm not a teacher, ako po ay nagtapos ng engineering. So, pinadap ko tong paano gumawa ng lesson plan. I have here another example. Start lesson plan, this is how you do your lesson plan. This lesson are designed to offer three to five classroom session with step-by-step -step instruction. This is the the example of a lesson plan. So try not to click po, grade 9 to 12 lesson plan. Finding poetry in prose, reading and writing. So I think this one is in English. English lesson. I'm not a good in English but po ay makakatulong din po sa kanila. So, feature resources, overview, features resources, from the theory to practice. Ang laking tulong po nito guys. Ang laki lalo na po sa ating mga guro na walang sawang nagtuturo sa ating mga kapwa Pilipino. Ako po ay saludo po sa inyo. Ito po yun. Guiding question for reading poems so, about love Students can use this handout. This is uh, an example of the lesson plan. From the theory of practice, one of the strongest ways to teach students about how to poet, poetry works in again, writing the poetry. This lesson asks students to create found poetry after analyzing several poems and guides to identify what makes them powerful. As Dunning and Stafford explain, the advantage of found poems is that you don't start from scratch. All you have to do is to find some good language and improve it. So this is from theory to practice. Now, balik tayo guys. Balik tayo rito sa student interactive. Try to click tong student interactive. Ito po ang features nila. So organizing and summarizing, inquiry and analysis, writing poetry, Writing and publishing, pros, learning about language, they are different. You can see from this one. So, from organizing and summarizing, grades K to 12. So, it's story map. Try to clean story map. So, I'm done with ideas about this one. So, you have here the uh, flash player or the video. You can select the URL also guys. So 
overview about this interactive lesson that uses interactive related classroom fresh and relevant resources community stories. So overview, the story map, interactive lesson plan, organizers designed to assist teachers and students pre-writing and post-threading activities. So this is the lesson that use interactive. So they have the kindergarten, K-12, to K, eh, no, K-2, the K grade K-2 lesson plan, K-2 lesson plan unit, which is the collaborate stories, pre-writing and drafting, Comparing fiction and non-fiction with a little red riding hood text sets, creating problem solving with Ezra, Jack, literacy centers, getting started. So they have a lot. So they have also here the K or the grade 1, 2, or grade 3, 4, grade 5, 6, 7, 8, grade 7, 8, grade 9 and 10, grade 11 to 12. So this is a big help. This is the Read Writing website. So we are done with the classroom resources. We try to collect also the mobile application. So laking tulong po nito mga kababayan nating mga guro. Ito po ay maganda lalong lalong po sa mga nagtuturo. So this is the mobile application. I think based on the classroom resources, Pwede mo siyang i-download. The Venn diagram application uses compare contrast information in visual appearing in a way. So this is the features also. Organizing and summarizing inquiry analysis. Writing poetry, writing and publishing prose. Just the same. So meron silang application. Now we will now go to the professional development. In professional development, you have the... You have here the strategy, guides, professional library, meeting and events, online professional development. Now we'll try to click this on strategy guidelines or the guides. So we have here teaching with technology or application of the technology now. Mostly in our uh, generation now, most of the teacher are adopting this kind of teaching. You are using the teaching with technology in the strategic guide series. You will learn a reading online, blogs, podcasts, and online safety. So this application may be applied to grade 6 to 12 reading online. So grade 6 to 12 teaching with podcasts. Reading in the content areas, developing academic vocabulary, so a lot, a lot of information from this website. And napansin ko lang guys, from this website, read writing mostly in, Eng in English subjects. So ang laking tulong po niya. So videos also, the literacy in Asia, presentation using RWT just for fun. And also this one is the parent and after school. Ito po yung malaking tulong din because the parents and the teachers collaboration maybe they doing something you try to click this one so i want to click the one and two after resources for grades one and two this is the activity first and second grade mean full days with lots of reading and writing the materials here can help you make the most of the time outside the school after the school maybe the parents may click this one and teach their children using this guide games and tools, podcasts, printouts, a lot of information from this one. Okay, we will now go with, uh, I think we are done with the read and write and thing. We will now go to number three, common sense media. So this is mostly in the media. This is a platform where you can assess teachers Created reviews of educational tools and mobiles application, reading made lesson plans, webinars, videos, and many other resources. Okay, we'll now go with the tree. So, this is the website. Common Sense Media. So, if you see the environment of the website, I think mostly this is on video side so review what the kids want to watch so mostly on watching 
So on the environment you can select movie and TV. So they have the movie review, TV reviews, best movie list, best TV list, YouTube channel review with the books. They have a lot of information from books, best books list, book review, application, best application, application review, best game list, parent need to know. Now this is also a information that the parents need to know about their children. So by age, for example, we have here we try not to click you by age. So click the parent to know and click then select by age. So we'll try to select the preschoolers from two to four years old. So while loading, we're just waiting. So parent, media, and everything in between. So you need the guidance of the parents how white parents can use media to raise anti-racist kids so this is a guidelines so you can parents of black, of black and brown kids know how to instill in their kids with a sense of racial identity so this is a big help this is uh, in filipino good manners and right conduct na igaguide natin ang ating anak para hindi maging racist sa other uh, sa ibang lahi yan po yun so book FW Sam Reading Challenge to Kids on Books ito rin po ay makakatulong na turuan ng ating mga anak na magbasa lagi so free online events and activities for kids at home so a lot of information guys this one so ang dami pong tulong nito sa ating mga ka at lalong lalo na po yung mga nanay para po sa kanilang mga anak din so this is not just an interaction between the teachers and the students ito rin po ay makakatulong po sa ating mga magulang itong website na to kung may time kayo or full time parents po kayo just click this website you can see a lot of information and guidelines and also uh, information all the subjects that the teacher is teaching with the students so this one so ito po yan. now we will go with another one which is the research click din po natin sa research so they have also the research common sense research so they have a lot of research it's a feature Research. So they have the research in November 4, 2019. In today's 21st century, child words our relationship to media and technology changes constantly. This series identify media use trends and give pace with families evolving in partnership with Survey Monkey. So they, this one. So in October 28, 2000, a lot. Consens, census media use uh, twins and teens, 2019. They have a lot of information also on this one. So if you want to go to join with them, you can just sign in or join. So on the left side, you can see here a lot of research. So if you are a uh, lab reading, you can read this one one by one. So we do now the... I think we do this three websites. So this is just part one of my blog. So after this one, I will do the second uh, part, which is the common, uh, no, which is the CK12 website. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for listening to my blog and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Gary Jose TV lalong lalo na po sa ating mga ka OFW dyan na nakikinig at may mga anak na nag-aaral at sa mga guro na nagtuturo maraming maraming salamat po at magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat God bless